My brothers and sisters, welcome to this week's seminary preview. I'm going to show you the pacing guide, what we're heading into, and give you a couple insights for this week that you might want to consider implementing in your own teaching and instruction in Zoom. So let's jump right into it. This week's pacing guide, you'll notice a couple yellow squares, and that means President's Day or non-seminary days. Now, these squares don't represent your school schedule. You have to look. Each school district celebrates President's Day differently. Some get two days off. Some get a Monday off one week and a Monday off the next week. So make sure that as we head into these short weeks, you look and see what days are your non-seminary days, and you communicate that with your students and your parents. But we are in section 12 and 13 in Come Follow Me, and section 13 corresponds with the 68th through the 75th verse of Joseph Smith history. And let me show you the modules. Sometimes the principle is less is more, and this is the case, and we're going to exercise great restraint in trying to give our students less this week. It's a little bit of an experiment. In these modules, we sometimes wax a little wordy, and we give a lot of information. But this week, you'll see that it is very simple, to the point, and direct. As you click through the modules in section 12, section 13, You'll see that as you go through the options, there is just a few questions, not a lot of words. In fact, this is the whole lesson right here, a video and three questions. And so it'll be interesting to see how students react to this. If they really invest themselves in the questions, they could take a whole 30 minutes answering each of these. And so we want to see how our students react to these shorter modules with fewer words. Um, and then you might want to also practice the same practice inside your classrooms. Just give them something to do and not um, a lot to listen to. Uh, section 13 is no different. They are going to read and study the hymn, More Holiness Gives Me, and then jump straight into the modules here on baptism. One of the things I like about this module that you might want to bring up, I don't know, this is up to you, but if you were in San Diego in the late 90s, you remember Heaven's Gate the UFO religious cult that uh, committed a mass suicide in Rancho Santa Fe. And uh, it might just be interesting to talk about the hale Bop comet for a second and that these people really thought that they were going to go to heaven on this comet, whereas uh, you can see Heaven's Gate is really opened through baptism, not a comet. Um, and it might just be a little bit of a some local history tied into the scriptures, but don't spend a lot of time on it, obviously. <laughs> we want to talk about the real way to heaven, not, uh, not the hale bop way to heaven. So keep it simple. And the simplest way to teach our students is with love. So make sure that as we continue through these odd times that we're showing a tremendous amount of love towards our students. And the best way to do that is to show interest in them. Find out what they love. Find out what they like. Find out what they're missing right now. And, uh, and, and then encourage them. Love it with them. And, and just as you get to know them, make connections with, as you make connections with them, you will find that they will be connected to heaven. And you will be connected to heaven. Heavenly Father will work through you. For I do know that the scriptures are the words of their Father in heaven. And it's a communication that he wants to make with them on a weekly basis, especially in these times of need. And so connect them to you through love and then connect them to Heavenly Father through the scriptures. And you'll have a wonderful experience. Have a wonderful President's Day. And we will see you next week in our seminary preview.